Alrighty guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, I'm doing a video today about my processing method of my uh, Canon EOS M raw footage. I've had a few requests from you guys um, on different videos asking, you know, how do I color it? What do I do in MLV app and all that sort of stuff. And I'm here to tell you that my process, if you like it, is super sim simple and really easy. Uh, easy really easy so uh, yeah if that's what you're interested in stick around I'm gonna be walking you through um, what I do on MLV app and then what I do in my next um, editing app whether it be resolve or final cut so starting off here with MLV app what I generally do is I will import my footage um, and so this is some stuff I shot yesterday um, out at Wollombi uh, in New South Wales if you know where that is so yesterday 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 perfect let's import all of that um, so got some really beautiful stuff here uh, at the end of sunset um, we found some autumn awesome autumn trees um, and yeah so made a little video of the weekend um, away and what we did and um, thought I would run you guys through the process for my coloring here so let's pick one of these really nice clips so you guys all think I'm uh, really epic with the EOSM so this is generally um, what I do I'll bring in all my clips I'll generally just pick the first one okay and then I'll scroll down to I'll actually leave all of this um, which I guess kind of defeats the purpose of shooting raw um, but I generally like to get everything right in camera so uh, come down here choose Alexa log C um, if I'm shooting with a particularly soft lens, I might come down and give it some uh, sharpening um, down here. I've actually missed it, um, but I've decided against that the last time I exported something. It was over sharpened and looked terrible. So pretty much that's it, guys. I put it into the Log C format. I leave um, everything as in as is and unless I completely blew out something uh, and I want to try and fix it within the raw capabilities of an MLV app but I pretty much just use this as a one-step processor to get into log C uh, and then I'll show you what we do here so I'm just going to pause and uh, we'll take it into um, take it into resolve so all these clips you're about to see were shot with the Canon EOS M uh, with the Viltrox speed booster adapter and then the Canon 18 to 55 this is kind of my um, yeah, this is just my very like low key, like I'm not actually going out to film, I'm just going out to hang out with people, I'm gonna bring this along and just try and get some shots. Um, so unfortunately, for some reason, the Viltrox doesn't uh, reduce the aperture of this lens, um, which is kind of annoying. So you end up having to shoot um, a three, uh, you know, 3.5 to 5.6. So it doesn't really give you a lot of depth of field, but the main reason I use this is just for the stabilization. Um, as I would prefer unstable, I would prefer stabilized video um, to low aperture unstabilized video. So it has been playing up for me though in the last couple of times out um, with just you know not booting properly and different things like that. So I'm going to need to try and figure out why that is. But um, yeah, it's a great. I mean, you can find the lens for 60 bucks somewhere. Um, it's a great stabilized option. Uh, essentially, all I do is I. Um, convert it to log C like I've showed you guys and then what I do is um, I just, I've just gotten like an ARI, an ARI RAW to Rec 709 light off uh, the internet and that's I just slapped that on there. Um, now I do have some other ones um, that I've downloaded in a LUT pack which I'll run through as well um, but yeah this, this workflow seems to um, produce very pleasing results at a very quick pace which is important because we all know editing raw video can be quite a time consuming thing. Um, so we're just going to pull these in here, I save it to Seagate, the USM, oh, my computer is running very slowly, uh, here we go, Wallenby USM, select all, can't do that, pull them in, All right, so let's get all these, chuck them in, so you guys can uh, see what's going on here. So we should be in the color tab now, perfect. So um, like you should always be doing in Resolve, you should be applying the uh, LUT to the first gray. This needs to be your adjustment for exposure and white balance, stuff like that. But what we do is we take this, uh, we go up here to RE LUT, we whack the Rec 709 on there and that's pretty much it guys um, you can see here uh, she's very happy about the photo she's taken 
uh, but yeah, the, the colors that um, we get out of this lens and this process is pretty incredible. Uh, it's actually pretty true to kind of what you saw in, um, in MLB app, which is nice. So um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is my process. This is my starting point. Um, I go through and chuck this on uh, as a starting point. And like I said, if I need to make any adjustments, I'll do that in the prior um, node. Um, but I'm sure there's a more time effective way in doing this. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So um, MLV to uh, log C and then just log C into um, Rec 709, uh, the uh, official RE LUT that gives you the look that you've been asking about. So thanks for checking out the video and uh, keep shooting raw.